So drainage is probably multifactorial. There's not one specific reason why a person drains. I think probably in my mind now, 10 years into practice, it's probably our lack of attention to detail during closure. Um, as I've become more passionate about wound uh, care and wound closure, I've researched, I've looked at it, I've read, I've watched and observed other surgeons. I think that our biggest challenge is that we traditionally use interrupted sutures to try and close the uh, arthrotomy, close the skin. <clears throat> well, whenever you have an interrupted suture, there's a weak spot between each sequential suture. So if this is the first suture interrupted, no matter how close you put the next one, the area between the two is a weak point. We know, for example, in the knee, we want to get their motion going very quickly after surgery. So as soon as that patient bends that knee, there's synovial fluid, there may be a little bit of hemarthrosis within the knee, it looks for the path of least resistance. So it can percolate right through those two interrupted sutures. So I think for me, in terms of my workflow, uh, the barb sutures that are watertight that we can really um, put a significant amount of tension on creates a continuous line of um, force that there is no specific weak point. So I think one is um, <clears throat> for drainage minimizing the amount of ooze and uh, getting good hemostasis to getting a tight water a watertight seal and you can check its watertightness by even injecting into the knee. Sometimes we inject transexamic acid or antibiotics um, as part of our normal standard of care. If you do an interrupted closure, as you inject that, you'll see the fluid extravasate out between those stitches. When we do the running stitch, uh, I don't see any drainage. In fact, if I did see some drainage, I'd say we need to go back and reinforce that area. So same thing, same principle as we go through each different layer from the, the arthrotomy to what I call the deep or, or dermal layer to the sub-Q layer. Um, we want to have a watertight closure to avoid or minimize any drainage.